Thank you for joining us again today. Today we're going to continue in our series on multi-currency processing in Acumatica. Today we're going to talk about revaluation of accounts receivable and accounts payable balances. Let's take a look at our agenda. So there's a little bit of setup that we're going to examine, first in multi-currency preferences and then specific setup for the currency accounts. Then we'll look at our general ledger balances. And then we'll go ahead and do some processing of revaluation in accounts payable and accounts receivable. Let's go ahead and go into Acumatica. So here we are in Acumatica. Let's take a look at a couple of setup things. So I'm gonna to go to currency management, currency management preferences. And the thing I wanna point out here is you have an option to specify the rate type to be used for accounts receivable revaluation and accounts payable revaluation. And we have that set to the spot rate type. The other thing we're going to look at is the currencies themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look at our currency setup. I'll start with the British pound. So for the British pound, I want you to notice that we have no account set for the provisioning account in accounts payable, but we do have an account set for accounts receivable. And we're just using this as an example. The other currency that we're going to use is the Euro. And so we'll take a look at that setup. And you can see that we have no accounts used for provisioning in accounts payable or accounts receivable. The next thing we're going to look at is our general ledger balance. So here we are in Acumatica. Let's go ahead and go into our account summary. What we're interested in looking at here is our accounts payable balance. So as you can see, our current balance in accounts payable in US dollars is $316.07. So when we revalue the accounts payable, what it's going to do is recalculate that accounts payable balance based on the specified currency conversion rate for the effective date. Back on our agenda then, we're going to go ahead and process that revaluation in accounts payable, and then we'll do the same thing in accounts receivable. So back in Acumatica, let's go ahead and go to revalue AP accounts. And this is where we specify the effective date and the currency, and we'll go ahead and put in a comment here that says revaluation as of 514 in British pounds. So what it's done here is it's found open invoices that are in British pounds and is now applying the current exchange rate based on the effective date. So as you can see here, our original balance of this invoice in US dollars is 262.48. The new balance will be 262.01. That's a reduction on the balance of 47 cents. Since this is accounts payable, this is a gain. So we're going to have a gain in this revaluation. So when we post this, it's going to debit our accounts payable account and credit our gain or loss account. Now it's going to use the accounts payable account as the account that is going to change because in the currency setup, we did not specify an account to be used for this process as we just looked at a moment ago. So let's go ahead and select this document. You can see the total here is 47 cents and we'll go ahead and revalue. So when this is done, we can see that it's made our entry to the general ledger, but we'll look at it in US dollars. And you can see this is going to be a debit or a gain to the accounts payable account and a credit to the unrealized gain or loss account of 47 cents. Now also notice that there is reversing batch here and it in fact is auto reversing, as you can see. This is because this gain or loss is not real. Until you pay the vendor the invoice, you actually haven't gained or lost anything on this particular invoice. It's just taking a look at a snapshot of what the gain or loss would be on that effective date. That's why most of the time this process takes place at the end of the month. But when you do it, it's going to create a reversing entry on the first of the following month to undo what you did. And then the process starts over in the following month. So let's go back to our general ledger and take a look at our account summary. And as you can see for our accounts payable account, 
our balance is now $315.60. So it's been reduced by 47 cents. And if we look at the transactions by drilling into the account and looking at the account details and filtering for the source journal module cash management, you can see that GL posting. Let's do another one. So I'll go back to currency management, go back to revalue AP accounts. This time I'll use the currency euro. So I'll change my comment here or description. And you can see in this case, we have a $9.18 loss. So accounts payable is actually going to go up $9.18. So let's go ahead and revalue that. And look at this in US dollars, and you can see that accounts payable was credited for $9.18, and the gain or loss account was debited for $9.18. Once again, let's go back to our account summary in General Ledger, and you can see the accounts payable account is now $324.78. And if we look at the transactions, we'll filter for the module cash management. There's our two transactions. Now what we're going to do here is change this date range and we'll just look at our periods from 5, 24, 2014 through 6, 2014. So as you can see, we have our two transactions, 20 and 21 that occurred one right after the other, one on May 31st and one on June 1st. And the June 1st one is the opposite of the May 31st and the same thing for batches 22 and 23. So as you can see here, these all offset. So our beginning balance with these transactions was zero and our ending balance is zero. So they completely offset. So once again, it does the adjustment entry on the date that you enter it for the posting date, and then it reverses it on the first of the following month. So now let's go ahead and take a look at doing the same thing in accounts receivable. So here we are back in Acumatica. As a reminder, I'm gonna go back into currencies here just for a second. Let's look at the British pound. And as you can see, we do have a provision in account for accounts receivable. So when we do the revaluation for accounts receivable for the British pound, instead of adjusting the accounts receivable, balance, it's going to adjust the balance in this provisioning account. Let's go ahead and do that. Back into currency management, revaluate AR accounts for May 31st, 2014. And once again, I'll use the British pound, finally called it up. So let's go ahead and enter our comment and this is in British pounds. And the reason we're putting this description is when we look at the general ledger postings for the original posting and the reversal, we know exactly what was going on. So in this case, as you can see, our original balance was $111.92 in dollars. With the new exchange rate, it's $112.94, and that's a gain of a dollar and two cents. So let's go ahead and select that document hit revalue, let it process, and look at it in US dollars. And as you could see, our gain was $1.02, so it debited our provisioning account, and then it credited our unreliable gain or loss. So like the example we did before, it's exactly the same thing, except in this example, we had a separate account that was going to be debited instead of the accounts receivable account. And we can look at that by looking at our account summary, and looking at the 115 account, 115,000 account here. And if we drill in and look at the details, there's the transaction that occurred in May. And we'll just change the end posting to June. And then you can see the offset that occurs in June. So as a recap, we took a look at some setup in currency, specifically looking at the provisioning accounts under the currency maintenance screen. We looked at the GL account balance in accounts payable prior to doing the revaluation and then looked at it again after the revaluation and then went through the process. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can contact us directly at Nimsen Associates 
at the number on your screen. Thank you again.